Oh my goodness. Hey y'all, what's this whole world coming to? Things just ain't the same. Anytime the hunter gets captured by the game. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah. Oh, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. This um is going to be very short and sweet, and I'd like to know from anybody out there listening. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, you know, I never wish nothing bad on nobody. I really don't. But I am so glad that Brother Polite's reign of terror has come to an end. This reign of madness that was making me angry every time. Um, matter of fact, I think his face was the only face that annoyed me more than Donald Trump's face. In fact, they might be a tie. Umar Johnson, no, he's on my nerve. And, you know... If y'all want to keep giving money to the school, okay. You know, you've been warned. But this dude here, this brother Polite, Kev Gills, he tried to get him. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? What's the other one's name? Um, Young Pharaoh. Young Pharaoh tried to pull him down. <laughs> Everybody knew information about Brother Polite. And nothing seemed to have worked and pulled the trigger because all things happen in due season. All things happen in due time. And for this guy's arrogance and for his pompousness, I hope that he is dearly rewarded with 50 years in prison, just like R. Kelly. I'm not saying that you did everything R. Kelly did, but I'm tired of you Negro predators. I want you out of our communities, and I want you gone. You know, this ain't nothing new. You know, we, we're talking about these people as if they're isolated. But y'all got to remember, it's just like Aretha Franklin. She had a baby at 12. Who impregnated her? Looking back in the day, when you think about some of our aunties and relatives and other people that we know that we had that had babies at 12, 13, 14, in fact, I know a girl that had a baby at 11. Um, they didn't get they didn't get pregnant by 11 year olds and 12 year olds. They got pregnant by old ass dudes, like a brother Pullet or uh uh R Kelly. This type of dude, and you know, for all of y'all that get up here and talk all that. Um, stuff about Little Nas X or, you know, people's sexuality. You know, I don't hear nobody going in but women the way they should be going in on these brothers. I don't hear black men going in on Brother Polite or going in on R. Kelly. Matter of fact, Y'all was such an enabler for R. Kelly that it's pathetic. And I hope all of y'all get y'all what y'all deserve, too. Because like I said, I never knew none of that stuff was going on when it came to R. Kelly. Oh, yeah, I knew he had some perversions and some crazy proclivities. I don't know nobody that don't, to be honest with you. 
But not that shit. That what? Uh-uh. No. And Brother Polite? What about Amunet, the damn first wife? What happened? Where'd she run off to? See, you know, that whole enterprise. And it just irks me and hurts me so bad when I see people take advantage of my people this way. It's so gullible. It's like we are perpetually miserable, just like Willie Lynch said. We'll go for anything, and we don't got to worry about us because we are too broken. We are so broken that clowns like this in the neighborhood, con artists, can just come and just have these schemes, these, these narcissistic, bombastic people that are full of decadence and de debauchery. They come into our communities and they plant themselves in there and they start doing this and y'all start giving them money as if y'all got money to donate to these damn crooks. Remember when he had the house scheme and was telling everybody that he was going to sell them sovereignty? Then you had damn Pharaoh talking that same stuff. Y'all got to quit this stuff. In fact, if ain't nobody, if, if, you know, I don't, the kind of knowledge y'all think y'all need is not the knowledge, I hate to say it in my opinion, that you really need. You, ne you need to be going inside. You need to stop looking outside yourself to try to get over or get fixed. You better go in. You need to go in now. You know how your mama say, come on inside? It's time to come in. Go inside yourself. And the, in there lies all the answers that you need. I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all, tell me if I'm crazy. Please leave your comments below and let me know what you think about Brother Polite and him being caught in his scheme and ass finally uh, about to, uh, his arrogance, uh, all of it. How do you feel about this? And then him taking advantage of, of women in the community and the women allowing themselves to be used and, and, and just... Scheme anything for money. We just become such love of ourselves. We just become so. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Y'all, y'all leave y'all comments below. Tell me, tell me, please. I'll see you in the next one.